Hi, here we have Alana Hay from Milestone Creative Australia. Um, Alana, you've been in the industry a very long time. Tell me what it was like when you first started. Gosh, um, well I started in hospitality when I was 11. That's a long time ago. A few um, years ago. Yeah. Quite Only a couple. Years ago. Thanks. Um, but look, I joined Mia in around, I think it was around 2003, so still a long time. Um, but from the time I started in hospitality to even the time that I joined Mia, the industry, I guess, uh, flourished in that time. It really, when I started, it wasn't an industry. I remember looking around for jobs back in the day and uh, looking up events, and there were no jobs under events or event management. Um, there were definitely hotel jobs. Um, but yeah, so I think even just as an industry and the term business events um, and meetings, um, you know, it's I guess it's uh, become a burgeoning yes. industry in itself. It's one of those industries that's really, yeah, it's really uh, flourished as you mentioned. Yeah, nice, yeah. Um, so when, what, back then and moving on now, what's your journey been like? <laughs> It's been an interesting journey. I've had an excellent career um, in this industry. It's a it's a wonderful industry. We are really a community, a uh, wonderful community of people. And you can see with you know events like um, AIM and and the Mia conference when the industry gets together. Um, yeah, I guess you know there's a lot of knowledge sharing. You don't get that in all industries. Um, but yeah, I think. Um, you know, one of the key things, I, I'm really lucky, I think, I've been able to move from hospitality and catering through venues and destinations, sales and marketing, and now have my own company. So, you know, could it get any better? I'm really happy and, and very lucky. And I hear you're doing some exciting things with your company. Tell us about it. Uh, we are. Um, look, we have really carved ourselves a niche um, in that major event marketing space. So, um, you know, we're working on things like Mardi Gras right now. We've got Vivid got some of the big guys in Sydney with you know Maryvale and the Maritime Museum. Um, arts organisations as well um, tend to, to uh, come to us as the go-to so yeah we're, we're really lucky and very busy. <laughs> what, uh, what do you put Mia down to for your learning experience to get a lot of these great clients? I think one of the first things I remember was going to a Mia, uh, it was an Essentials I think, event. Uh, it was a two-day workshop and just the information that I got out of that and the people that I met there um, you know, I, I think I've still got friends from, from going to that event in, you know, I guess the first couple of months of joining. So how good is that? Fantastic. Yeah. So how has Mia helped you grow in the industry? Oh, look, I have been really lucky. Um, I joined in 2003. By 2008, um, I was on the branch, luckily, um, and I was the chair of the networking subcommittee. So. There's a whole family within Mia. Obviously, you've got you know Mia head office, but there's a whole bunch of people who volunteer their time for Mia, and you know they're the ones creating the events and putting on the professional development and organising all of these great things for the industry. And I've been lucky enough to be part of that. Um, and just last year, well, from last year, I unfortunately had to step down, but I was um, elected to the board. So I guess that incremental you know I've been able to move through the ranks of Mia and um, now on the board which is a strategic you know in a strategic position so and yeah. you've, you've played a lot of part in being on boards and part of committees what um, suggestion would you recommend to people in joining Mia mm. um, would it be good for them to be part of it I would absolutely say whatever state you're in in uh, in Mia is get involved in the local committees there's subcommittees in professional development um, in the Club Mia's and Y Mia, which is the under 30s. Um, and you can get involved in any way. You can, you know, whether you're sourcing suppliers or helping organise or run things on the day, it's a great, great way to get involved in that community, that close knit community of the industry, but also broaden your skills and meet new people, which is what it's all about. So. Uh, now, going forward, where would you see Mia in the next five or ten years, or where would you like to see Mia? Wow, okay, so we've just done a strategic planning day, but I can't share anything with you. Ah, but Come on, a little bit. Just leaks. This is called Mia Leaks. <laughs> Mia Leaks. Come on, just no. a little. Nobody knows, it's just being you and you. Julian Assange, no. It's just you and me. Come on, nobody's, you watching. nobody's watching. Uh, no, I can't share any <laughs> <laughs> information. Damn. But look, all I can say is that uh, there's some wonderful things coming. And I know if, you know, sometimes heard that from before from different industry organisations, um, but the board is really proactive and um, I'm really excited as a member but also as a board member to see what's what's going to happen next. Excellent. Now, and um, in your future, um, I guess, events, 
Um, how would you see Mia be a part of that? Oh, look, I think this is one of the things that I can't tell you about. Um, Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely will be contributing to my business in a big way. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.